Scott from League City has a question about AC coverage. This is an upstairs downstairs question. You kind of remember, okay? okay? Dalton Abbey kind of thing, not really. So Scott writes. Um, our 3,000 square foot house has two AC units, one for downstairs, of course, one for the 914 square foot second floor. So our living area has vaulted ceilings. He sent in a picture here so you can see what a lovely abode. I didn't get you there, did <laughs> no, I? No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. A lovely abode he's got there. Yes. It's Neat. I like very, that. Very nice. Like a nice color scheme you got going there and all. A little Victorian eclectic going on. But I think this is the key up here. This, I got it. This open area mm -hmm. up here on the top. Anyway. Right now, he says, my wife are expecting a child on it right now, coming in January. He said, right now, the upstairs thermostat will read temperatures as high as 87 degrees. So I'm planning to add insulation this winter. But in the meantime, can I just keep the upstairs AC turned off unless we have guests? Scott wants to know, would this be an energy efficient choice? Probably not. I think you'd probably leave it around 82 uh, just to acclimate it somewhat or it's going to it, it will. Uh make the house overheat and it'll cost you a little more because that downstairs one's going to want to run a little more than it needs to. So 82 upstairs, temperature you want downstairs, and I think it'll balance out better. And the one downstairs won't run as much. 82 degrees. And because the idea is that you're going to remove some some humidity from the roof Yeah, area? You just, you've okay. got to acclimate it somewhat because your air is going to stratify back and forth. And when a cold air drops, hot air rises, and you get all the humidities going up there, you want to keep it somewhat acclimated. Listen to him. He sounds like a meteorologist over here. It's going to, there's going to stratify. Yeah. This cold pressure center is going to move up from the living room, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. All right. do, you, do you need a forecast on how to fix your problems? Right here, right to our meteorologist of home improvements, Tom Tynan. You can send those questions to us at homeshowradio.com.